welcome once again from our community from the plant medicine temple in the mountains of Guarne in Colombia and today's video how to know if we are ready for healing with ayahuasca there's three things that are very important for you to keep in mind and I'll try to be as concise as possible the number one you have to be radically honest with yourself. Where are you at? And how much longer do you want to stay in that same place? Knowing that we're ready for healing means that we have become clear around our current situation and perhaps clear around understanding that it is not the way that we want to live. But without that honesty, then the intention, the desire to come out of it does not exist or is very, very meek, very soft. So the number one thing that you need to know to confirm that you're ready for healing with ayahuasca is that in your heart, there is honesty. You have asked yourself the question, where am I at? Am I happy with it? And if not, what have I tried? For a lot of people, ayahuasca is not the last resort, but maybe a tool that they reach for once they have tried a lot of Diets, courses, workshops, programs, retreats, perhaps medication as well, therapy. And it's a very, very effective tool at taking care of things. But first you have to be honest. Are you ready to take care of things? Or how much longer are you willing to keep yourself in the same place? Number two, you have to make a decision. Decisiveness is the second part of knowing that you're ready and being ready for healing with ayahuasca. Decisiveness means that you answer the question and you realize this is not okay. I do not want to be living this life. I want to do something about it. Decisiveness means that it does not become an alternative to continue going through the emotions, depression, anxiety, relational problems, confusion. Or if you're coming to this out of inspiration and just a spiritual calling, how much longer are you willing to keep yourself pretending that this is not the most important part of your life, your spiritual journey? So decisiveness means that you have been honest and you have decided, you know what? I want to stay the same. I'm comfortable. I'm going to keep trying therapy for another 10 years. Nothing wrong with that. It's just a slower road. Decisiveness means that maybe you realize, you know what, I need to do something about this and I need to do it right now. The decision is not only being a yes to the experience. The decision is when you're going to be a yes. And this leads me to the third point and the most important one, which is commitment. The number one condition to be ready for healing with ayahuasca is that there is commitment. Commitment means that the alternative is no longer an option. Commitment means that you have taken a leap of faith and jumped into the metaphorical abyss only to find yourself facing death and learning how to fly in the process. In a way, commitment is what the bird does when it jumps off a tree branch for the first time. It has committed because once it's falling, it has no choice, death or flying. And death is not an option, so the only option is to spread its wings and learn how to fly. So commitment in this case means that you book your flights, you book your retreat, you start your diet, you go all in, you surrender to the process. Because if you pay attention to your life, the most beautiful things have happened when you have trusted the process before you even had signs that it will work. In relationships, you trusted, you fell in love, you went and you talked to that person that you found attractive, or they came and talked to you and you were open. In business, if you're a business owner, you probably took a leap of faith, trusted your gut, and then decided to start your own company. And you didn't know that you had no guarantees, no assurances that it would work, but it has. So commitment is that opening paired with action. Commitment means that the alternative is no longer an option. And you will realize that in life, 
when living in a way that is unconscious, that is painful, and that is full of suffering, when that way of life is no longer an option for you, then you commit to the alternative, which is living a life of love, of peace, of ease, of bliss, of clarity, excitement. That's how you know you're ready. You become honest, you make a decision, and you commit to it. All right, I hope this was useful. Please find below the links to our coming retreats in Colombia. If you want to sit with us. I have also created a preparation and integration course. So maybe you're drinking ayahuasca in another place, but you really want to be prepared and you feel that I could support you in that. Then the links are also below. I have condensed the wisdom from hundreds of ayahuasca ceremonies over a few years. The teachings from the elder, some of the most respected shamans. Colombia and South America and I've created a preparation course with everything I wish I knew before I drank for the first time. It would have saved me a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble and bad trips and integration. Everything I wish I knew in the context and community that I wish I had after my first ceremony so that I could integrate in a smoother way everything that I lived through. That sounds like something you're curious about. Click links below and we'll talk soon.